Hey, the tailgate show? Star Wars is... The, the new one is not good, dude. That's all you gotta know. All right, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's some way to start it. Welcome to the Fantasy Football Brawl. Another week, another episode here for us on a wonderful week, Fantasy Football Brawl. This is episode 22, so welcome, all you guys, sticking with us all the way through the end of the season. Uh, we got all our guys here tonight at 72, Tube Pro, Joe of the Student, rocking and rolling. What's up? L Berry underscore 40 coming right in off of work, ready to do the podcast for you guys. That's right, baby. What up? What it do? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Joe Gaither. You can find me on Joe Gaither 6 on the Twitter. We are all Brawl Fantasy on Twitter at B R A W L F A N T A S Y. And we are at Fantasy Football Brawl on the Facebook page. So find us there. Yeah, like us on Facebook. That's, yeah. that's something I've been working on a little bit. You know, it's hard to do with school, but. Guys, we would really appreciate all the likes on Facebook. Send us out to your friends. Just be like, hey, check out this awesome fantasy podcast. See if they can use our advice with you and try and clash together in the Battle of the Titans. I don't know. Like, you know what else you can follow us on? Brand new this week, follow us on Instagram, at Brawl Fantasy, just like Twitter. You can follow whoa, us there. We're going to be whoa. having all the news coming out this week. You you got some good you got some good graphics some good overlays on on uh, going on on Instagram some good photos coming good photos coming but right now I just got the generic uh, profile picture waiting to, wait waiting to fill that thing up though yeah when are we getting that first bit of news Lucas what are, what are you gonna put out there first A B arrest warrant never gonna be fantasy relevant again could put out our uh, draft kings lines because we are playing this week uh, unfortunately we, could. we have to deal with some <laughs> Pro Bowl BS this week. We could put out our first episode on there, which would be this one. Yeah, uh, put a couple oh, clips out on there. The funniest parts of the episode. We're not funny. Or, I yeah. mean, we're not I funny. try. We're I just, try. We're just funny looking, that's all. Oh, yeah. You can you can check us out on YouTube if you want to see our funny looking faces. Subscribe to the Brawl Network on YouTube. You get all the shows on one platform, guys. It's all right there. And also... You know, the general links, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, follow us on there too. Give us a five-star rating, like, and subscribe as usual. Give us a give us a nice uh, big comment saying how much you like the show and how much you find us ugly. But, there's, Lucas... There's, there's one other thing you can do if you like this show. If you wait, like the show... Hold on, hold on. Do you see what's on Joe's head right now? Like, Joe, can you, can you get your head in the frame? What's on Joe's head? It looks like a... A fat baseball cap from Fanatics, baby. What it what? do? I'm Joe. Did you use our link? If you didn't use our link, I'm gonna punch you through the screen. No fighting oh necessary. Oh my god! No, dude. no fighting necessary. Of course, I used our link. You used it. What oh, is that link, god. Lucas? What is I, that link? I, I forgot was, about it. I had to use it. If I didn't use it, there's no sense in buying it. Well, if this was Joe reading this, he would say www.com slash fanatics. <laughs> but the real link is. Wait, I'm having a brain fart here. <laughs> www.thebearsbrawl.com slash fanatics. That's where you can go to get any of your any of your jersey, shirzy, t-shirt, sweatshirt, any of your needs, any team you want. Hey, Mr. Cortez, you, know what? you can get that Jair shirzy that you uh, begged so much for in our DMs. That's right. And you know what, guys? We had a DraftKings contest last week. We're giving out t-shirts every now and then we want this thing to grow if we can get big enough we're going to be doing that stuff more often but we're always getting our stuff from fanatics www.thebearsbrawl.com slash fanatics if you get a t-shirt from us be grateful yes i'll leave it at please that. please fanatics, be grateful fanatics gave me 90 cents in fan cash for the purchase they also sent me Ooh. a 20 percent off coupon for my next purchase and they also sent me a hundred dollars off a case of wine uh, valued $160 or more on one of their partner websites. So I didn't only get the hat. I got a couple of, you know, little perks on the side as Very well. Very nice. So Fanatics really has deals for everybody. If you like wine, as you said, Joe, you can get some nice deals on a big case of wine. Obviously not me because I'm 19. Well, I just thought that was a cool perk. I was like, wow, I, I mean, that's a pretty – I haven't really explored that wait, stuff. Wait, Joe, but... do you have to like? Do you have to like put in your age or something? Like, I, I, honestly, I have no idea. I'm not. Uh, okay. I haven't. I haven't f really explored that. I just thought the coupon that came with it was kind of cool. Well, yeah, Joe. Joe would probably go on Fanatics and get like a free pizza from Chuck E. Cheese or something. 
<laughs> yeah, that's definitely what I do. You know, I'm also like, if anybody is out there and is feeling generous, I would really appreciate a Jose Altuve jersey to like boost my self confidence a little bit about this whole Altuve cheating Here, scenario. Dude, take this. Let's at least go, I'm not. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. At least Let's I'm not go, gritty Astros. who punched a child after he did that. Gritty, this was the child gritty, the got off his <laughs> The Philadelphia Flyers mascot. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I'm talking to the listeners, not you guys. You guys are clowns. The Gritty, the Philadelphia Flyers mascot. He's the man. He got in trouble a little bit. He's being Alleged. investigated Allegedly. for punching Allegedly. a child after beating a trash can with the Astros logo on it. So... I th- um. I think there were separate incidents. I think one was at like a fan fest or something like that, and the the trash can was different. But you know, whatever. It, mascot it, it still is, shouldn't be is. punching it's, it's children. Karma. <laughs> it's karma. It's karma for doing that, gritty. You serve. You know, whatever. You know what else is karma? The Packers losing and for being frauds all season long. And you know who did that to them? The standout performer from this championship week. Number one overall scorer, Raheem Mostert, coming in with 29 carries, 220 yards, four touchdowns, and two catches for six yards, with a total score in PPR of 48.6. You guys know what, though? I was honestly shocked at the amount of people who had him in our DraftKings. Like, a lot of people had him, and I I was very shocked at that. You know, after Coleman had the big week, no one really knows. I guess everyone was just kind of feeling that Mostert vibe. Joe, I, you didn't have him, I don't think. But a lot of people did. I'm not not our not. winner had him, so that's dude. Probably one our of the winner could have won a lot of money if he entered a contest. Besides, yeah, how he, much money? Well, thirty five hundred dollars was would be the payout on a three dollar entry. Woo! That's that's a lot of money, but that's you know, a lot of Jair start, Alexander shirts. As soon as you start doing that, what you kind of get sucked into the world of gambling, and uh, that's not a place that you always want to be. Uh, some of the people we know can attest how much money they lose in gambling. Allen Iverson. Um, yes, I'm talking to AJ as well. Um, oh. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jeez. That All was right. mean. Yeah, you know, right. so you, just, you brought up Raheem Mostert. And yeah. I've got a list, you know, always after the playoffs, the top 10 fantasy scores of the week. You got Mostert, Mahomes, Aaron Jones, Tyreek Hill, Sammy Watkins, Devontae Adams, Damian Williams, Ryan Tannehill, Aaron Rodgers, and Derrick Henry. So uh, was Mostert your man, Joe? Was he your favorite performance of the weekend? I mean, yeah, other than that, Patrick Mahomes. Dude, I don't know. I, I kind of like nasty. I kind of like Jimmy Garoppolo, dude. Oh, am oh. I going to hand – oh, the right side. Oh, what about, the, what about me completing oh. eight passes, throwing eight no. times because I'm a god and I'm great at football, babe. Dude, if you yeah. just looked at his record and the amount of Super Bowls he's been to, you'd think this guy was like Peyton Manning or something. Nope. No, this, he's this, just this, Mr. Jimmy Garoppolo, Mr. Roger Coattails of the Super Bowl Okay, every year. so if we're talking about a system quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo? He's just good. Saying? He's good. Uh, really? He's good. You really think he's going to be able to outduel Patrick Mahomes? If they win, if they laugh, win, if, if they win, it'll be because of their run game. I'm just yeah. saying. I, yeah, I'm not saying no, it's I, not I, Jimmy G's turn to outduel Patrick Mahomes. I just think it's. I personally years. think it's funny. That's all. I, he's good. That's. I'll leave it at uh, that. Okay, so if they win, how many times does he does he say "babe" to the sideline reporters after the game? Like four, over under, betters out there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Aaron Jones also had a nice week, 12 rushes for 56 yards and a touchdown and five catches for 27 yards and another touchdown. Um, Packers got blown out, which was a happy, happy day for a lot of Bears fans out there and a lot of NFC North fans and a lot of fans out there in general who just don't think that Aaron Rodgers should have been there this year, especially with that fraudulent Packers team. Do we need to take three seconds on the podcast to give our all big old laugh on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, All right, no, but I'm but sorry. seriously, I'm let's, a fun uh, guy. I, I, I need to ask you guys. Um, I think we all expected Derrick Henry to just go nuts this week, and and he didn't. You know, the Chiefs had a great. Still had a nice week. <laughs> I mean, nineteen for sixty nine. I wouldn't consider that a nice week. Nice. Um, they had a touchdown. I mean. From like two yards out. Okay. Well, yeah. Whatever. He still... And he also had he also had negative eight yards through the air. He had some pretty um, nice r- rushing yards. Yeah, pretty nice. 69. I don't care. I, ooh. 
Ooh. Overplayed it. You overplayed it, Joe. Oh, well, you can cut that out. <laughs> this is a short episode. You don't have to spend that much time editing it. That's right. All right. That's right. That's right. Another guy who had a huge week. Sammy no, Watkins. I'm not done talking about this Shut guy. up. Sammy Watkins. This, this, <laughs> all right. This guy. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Everyone expected him to just go nuts. The Chiefs run defense is terrible. And they couldn't do squat. Like, I don't know. I mean. The, the, their magic carpet ride came to an end. It's sad because I was I picked the Titans to win. My, See, I, I was just waiting for them to lose. I'm that guy. I was waiting for them to lose. No, oh, that's that's unfortunate. You 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 last week you were like I was waiting for Lamar to have a bad game. I was and, because I don't like when people ride the hype train. You know that I'm was literally our first segment on the podcast. Yes, hype and train. I and you were on every single guy, and I was off most of them. I was not on every single guy. I was on you were on a lot of, of guys. Them. I was on a couple of key guys who had nice years. You were on Terry McLaurin, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, exactly. Because I didn't ride the train for too many guys. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna ride that train. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounded weird. <laughs> what, was, what, ep- what episode was that? Early. Episode two, maybe? I don't know. Sammy Watkins, oh, I mean, gosh. Mr. Watkins came back from the dead. He did absolutely nothing since, like, week two or three, and he had a really nice week. Um, yeah. This I mean, Super Bowl is going to be interesting. This is, like, the first Super Bowl in a while where I literally think the two best teams are in it. Really? I think these two are the two best teams that I think from that each if conference. the Ravens beat the Titans, that the Ravens would be in the Super Bowl. All right, just to close a loop here, uh, Joe, you were on Jemison Crowder's hype train, as was Lucas. Uh, John he was okay Bra- when he wasn't hurt. Joe was not on John Brown's hype oh. train. Lucas was. Oh. Yeah, nice here. Joe was not on Terry McLaurin's hype train. Lucas was. Joe was on DJ Chark's hype train. Lucas was not. Pro bowler. Nobody was on John Ross's hype train. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, Joe was on Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown's uh, hype train. Lucas was not. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Nobody it's was as... on Amadola's hype train. You both nope. were on Michael Gallup's hype train. Yep. Joe was on Sammy Watkins' hype train, and Lucas mm. was not. You were both on See? Uh, TJ Hawkinson's hype train. Nope. That was not good. Joe was not on Mark Andrews, and Lucas was. Ah, that's where I got to leave. See, that I'm, was too much. That I'm beating him right now. You were, both okay. on, you were both on Austin Eckler's hype train. Yep. Joe was not on Josh Jacobs, and Lucas was. Oh. And that's all I've got from episode Damn. three. That was, that was episode three. So. Wow. Well, that was a good that was a good episode, a good segment yeah, that we yeah, had there. Yeah, we'll bring yeah. that back eventually. And um Joe, I don't know I don't know how much you you felt thought about this one because there's some pretty tough weeks out there for for some players in these conference championships. Woo! Yeah. Pretty, there pretty really bad. were some bad so uh, along with the good performances, honestly as a whole, it was kind of a down fantasy week. It, 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 our, our winner did clear 200 points in DraftKings, so he had a real, he, he had pretty much a perfect lineup essentially. Um, but as as a whole, you know, once you get past the top 10, it's a lot of there's a huge drop off. You got your biggest bust kind of on the weekend. Miracle Hardman had under Oof. two points. Tevin Coleman ended up getting hurt. He only had two points. Jamal Williams had under three. You know, George Kittle had a two point nine. Failed me. And then all of the Packers receivers outside of Devontae Adams together had 12.7. That's so, sad. I mean, together, that's four receivers combined. Jimmy G, we talked about him. He's under three points as a quarterback. Six as a, to eight. As a victorious quarterback. That's, Six that's to eight crazy. for 77 a winning, yards. A winning quarterback advancing to the Super Bowl <laughs> on 2.8 fantasy points. That's insane. Travis Kelsey, the other big monster tight end, only had six points after his big 40-point week the week prior. And A.J. Brown actually had a decent week compared to his previous two fantasy weeks. He got 8.1, but really, like, not – after you get past the top 10, there's a lot of mixture of, you know, 10 and under. Uh, so, are, I got two questions for both of y'all. Who is the biggest bust? And then secondarily, are you surprised that the two best tight ends pretty much in the league – Combined for 8.9 points, right at nine points uh, in championship weekend. I think that must have been an emphasis in practice to make sure that they covered the tight ends because the tight ends went out there and did nothing on both both of the two best tight ends 
And I think that must have been something that the Packers really worked on this week, and, last week, and the Titans did the same thing and shut them down because I picked them both. I had them both in DraftKings. I thought they were going to each have like 25 to 30 point weeks. Mike Brez did too. Yeah. And you know what? I beat Mike Brez by like three points. So, you know, just saying, I beat, I beat El Presidente, as Joe likes to call him, and his DraftKings name. But, man, my biggest bust this week, those tight ends sucked. But, man, Jimmy so, G. The, Jimmy the thing, G. The thing about Kittle is, like, yes, he was, he was obviously a bust. He was terrible in fantasy. But I have never seen a guy impact a game like him with only, oh, yeah. one, like, with only one catch. Just watching him is incredible. And, like, like that guy is such an animal blocking. He gets after it every play. I just love watching him. Like, such an impact on the game, even though he only had one catch in 19 yards, which is just incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, if I had to pick off this list, I mean, I just kind of picked on Henry a little bit. I think he was a pretty big bust. I mean, for how much you expected him this week, he really did let you down. I mean, it, and maybe it wasn't as much his fault as the Chiefs had a great game plan and they stopped him. But in fantasy, we don't really care. I mean, I think for as much as you were shelling out for him on DraftKings, you needed at least a 20 I, I did shell out for him on DraftKings. Yeah, man. so. I did as but, well, but I think that shows how, you know, th- you know how- really how poor the week was overall you're calling him a bust and he was the 10th best scorer in, in, in basically out of all the out of both the games so i mean yeah he he had a, he underwhelmed his performance he only had 14 points compared to his last couple weeks where he's clear in 30 um yeah i just mean i think from like what people expected this week i think sure, people were expecting sure. like 120 you know total yards and two touchdowns and even know, that tit- might have been disappointing to some people Titans to run off in the sunset but I mean him and then obviously you said the tight ends you know Travis Kelsey is just unusual for him it seemed like all his targets went to Sammy Watkins and that's pretty much what it was I mean the Titans obviously had a game plan to take him out they did it mm. and they just Mahomes is too good that was it Mahomes yeah. is that that rushing touchdown had me had me while I was on the floor I was like I don't think I've ever seen a play by someone so versatile. So yeah, people people don't realize how good of a like runner he is when he wants to get out of the pocket. Like it's not even that; it's that he's so good at everything. Yeah, he, he is really the is. best. Okay, like he doesn't even have to have good mechanics to make perfect throws. His, His arm mechanics, is so strong. His arm is so strong, dude. I it's I he breaks. He breaks the mold, and when you break the mold, it could be in a bad way, and the rare time it's in a good way, that's Patrick Mahomes, and he does it to perfection. And in my opinion, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Yep, I, I agree with you. It's, dude, I think, if he doesn't get hurt this year, he might throw 40 touchdowns. So that's that's this is going to be something we're going to have to get into this offseason topic, but Mahomes honestly might slip down some people's draft boards next year in fantasy. I'd still take him in the first round. Well, I think he might slip down draft boards a little bit in fantasy just because he got hurt this year. And that injury – I mean, he was playing hurt. Like, he put up these great stats and he was playing yeah. hurt. It, it's insane. So, I think people are going to sleep on him just a tiny bit. Well, let's circle Joe, back what you to, say? to what you just said, Joe. You said I'd still take him first round. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I to... said that, <laughs> as soon as I said that, I remember what I said. In our was very that? first episode when we yeah. were drafts, Lucas and I were like, man, if he's there at 8, 9, and 10, we'll, we'll, we'd take him probably. And Joe went, no, you're crazy. It's too early. It's crazy. I wouldn't take him in, until the third round, the fourth round. And I'm like, wow. So hey, what, hey, what a turnaround after, after, after a whole year. Go ahead. And he was, it wasn't even that great of a year by him. It was just the fact that he's – such a talented player. There's no way, unless he gets hurt, that he's going to have a bad year. I yeah. I can't see it. And um, I think that we should probably move on because then I'm just gonna start just dissecting. Yeah, yeah this is this is gonna be some fun off season stuff. It's gonna I'm make me feel bad. For it. He I'm makes real... me feel bad every time I watch him play. I mean, I I don't as a Bears bad. fan, as a Bears fan, it makes bad. me feel bad. I don't feel bad. I, yeah, I don't. What? You don't no. feel bad. No. You don't wish that he was your quarterback. I mean, obviously, but I, I don't think it's fair to say he should have been. A, I think Watson. No, he is, shouldn't have been a bear, but you know, Watson is the Watson only guy I think should have been the clear cut. So Mahomes, yeah. I mean, he's just a freak. Well, that that is is probably what it is. Lucas, do you have any more observations? Before we get into um, our, our fun here, do you have any more observations about uh, championship weekend? I mean, it was just a good week of football. I mean, obviously, fantasy is hard when there's four teams playing. 
you know, our champion lineup, he, he got everything right. Kudos to him. Joe, you had a great lineup too. Great bounce back, by the way. It's been a while. Finally. Joe, yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe, is, any, Joe is due for that next. You got any other um, comments on NFC and AFC Championship weekend? Um, I had a great time watching the games. I'm hoping the Pro Bowl is as entertaining as it was last year, and I'm hoping that the Super Bowl is a competitive game. We'll get, we'll get into the Super Bowl next week. Next week will be all about the Super Bowl. We didn't want to talk about that this week because we want to give it its due respect and its due yes. excitement. So uh, we just want to kind of talk about championship weekend. And, you know, we are going to play DraftKings this weekend. You know, people think, oh, you're stupid, you're crazy. What a Pro Bowl is wild. That's okay. We're having we fun. Want, <laughs> we, we want to uh, give you guys a chance to play DraftKings with us. And we just want to uh, basically give you a preview of the game mode we will be playing in the Super Bowl. We're not playing the traditional pick your line up and go. We're going to play Showdown because there's only one game. There's one game this week and one game next week. And Showdown, essentially, uh, Lucas brought it up to us when we were playing Thanksgiving week and we played Showdown with the Bears and Lions. And that was a great fun. Basically, you pick a guy and he is, what is he, double the price? No, he's one and a half times the price. And, and he earns one and a half times points. And so he basically can play two quarterbacks if you wanted to. Yeah, so the lineup is, is it five flexes or six? Let's look at my lineup. I think it's here. six. I think, so you, your lineup is six players, one captain who's one and a half times the points, and then five other players. Six, they can, you're right. They can all be on the same team. They can be on different teams, whatever. But six total players. Your captain is one and a half times the money, but he also scores one and a half times the points. And every single player is a flex, so you can have whatever you want in there. I think even including kickers. Right. You can have any position, that anybody that's Defenses, available. Defenses, whatever. And so we're going to give you guys a chance to play with us in the Pro Bowl where it's going to be kind of wacky. But then next week we're going to do uh, – I'm speaking out of turn here, but if we get 50 players for the Super Bowl, do we want to do that? Again, or we're going to go higher because it's Super Bowl week. Um, 50? 50 for the Super Bowl. I'm down. I am right. down. I, I hate spending a lot of money, but. <laughs> well, it's the Super Bowl. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's coming out. Of, but we have to get 50. Know. We have yes. to get 50. There will not be an exception this week. Last we just week. Because it was our first week. We wanted to, you know, show, show, thank you for getting 31, guys. That was really important to us. 31 was good. But it's not good enough for, for, for our prize pack on the Super Bowl week. It'll be the same price. Uh, you'll, we'll, we'll offer you a Brawl Fantasy t-shirt or its equivalent on DraftKings. But we nope. have to Fanatics. get... Fanatics. Fanatics, yes. <laughs> we're, we're playing DraftKings. Yes, excuse me. I'm Fanatics. <laughs> good catch. Uh, so, Got you. this week, we're, play, we're playing we're playing Showdown for the, for the Pro Bowl. It's your practice week. It's your freebie week. It doesn't count. But we want you all to play and all to get familiar with the game mode and all to show us how smart you are. Before we get into the lineups, we'll look at last week. Are there some people that you need to call out, though? Like, yeah, yeah. This week? But we're going to look at last week's lineup. Uh, 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 or last okay. week's, basically, uh, scoreboard. Last yeah. week, Joe's friend, Johnny Core. Is that his real name? Oh, uh, like half of it. Johnny Corbin, Cor Kornheiser. Johnny Cortez. Cor Johnny Cortez won our competition with 214 points. Congratulations, Johnny Cortez. Wear that shirt proudly. And when people ask you about it, tell them about our podcast. Hell yeah. Second, uh, I, I, I did have it. Lucas mentioned a bounce back week. I had finished last in probably the last three or four weeks or close to last. Or but not this week. To, second to last. But this week, I finished second. 178 for myself. I was very happy to finish up there in that top end. Fourth place was AJ Desai, one of our good friends. He finished with 158. Lucas. Congrats, big man. Lucas came in with sixth place uh, with, I think, 150.76. Lucas, I, how'd you feel? I got to say, I, I feel like these past, like, I've been consistently consistent in drafting. I yep. feel like I'm right always in that range there within striking distance. I had been until this thing. I love consistency is key. <sighs> Our new friend at the Steelers Brawl, Jacob Harrison. He finished seventh place, 145. Announcer Dave from the Ravens Brawl. He finished 139. I think he was a little upset at my message last week. So good job finishing uh, 12th place. And uh, Joe, help me out with the number 20s again. He said I did a bad job saying his name last week. He said uh, I butchered his name. All right, I'm going to try. Uh, he might he might roast me too. But Usay Koshul, I'm going I'm to I'm say that. Um, you, you say it now, Joe. You say it now. Oh, 
I said Usaid Kasul. Butcher, try again. Okay. Yeah, go again. You say it, Kasul. One more time. Yeah, I guess. You say it, Kasul. Kasul. Executive producer of the Brawl Network, man. Say it You're again. One more time. Wrong, you say it, Kasul. At least one more time. You say it, Kasul. All right, you I think that who? might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be respectful of all our players. So if I get your name wrong, send me the phonetic spelling. You say it. I asked you for the phonetic spelling, and you and you never gave it to me. Basically, you want me to get it wrong at this point. So I apologize for that. But you finish in 20th place. Ha uh, ha. <laughs> all right, all right. So our house, Yo, chill, chill, chill. Our how is all brawl, Let's boys. Let's not expect someone for finishing in 20th place because I, I kind of did me. a little work. Dishing all out right. L's. Oh, okay. <laughs> our how is all brawl, boys. Austin and L. Blake finished 27th and 28th. That's right, Austin. You talk a lot of smack this well, week for that L. <laughs> you got to give Austin some props. He had been oh, in the top five just living up there in the top five. This offseason is going to be fun. And yeah, now he's awesome. number 27 really L. And our man Joe uh, finished Yo, 30. Let me let me explain. Let Go me ahead. explain. Take okay. Your... Guys, but I had been but, on but, a... But, but, but you got to tell us who 31 is and have some fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had been on a bit of a hot streak, as everybody knows. I was doing good. And then I started doing bad this week. And, and it's unfortunate because I felt going into this week that I had a good lineup. And I didn't. But now, someone who I beat... Who'd you be? He's kind of like this mystical figure. The top dog. El Presidente Mike Brez. I beat him by five points, <laughs> and I am proud to say it because I'm feeling good. That's that's the only that's the only thing that reconciles this defeat for me. It reconciles the L. Um, congrats to you, Mike. You are the best of the worst this week. But we expect you to be back this week and try and kick our asses. Yeah, That's we, going to happen. And we expect you to be back, but, you know, get your buddies involved. You you are on two of the Brawl Network podcasts. You're the Brawl Network president. You are the leader. You are the head, you know, chief in charge. Big, big, you know, big dog, big muscle man. Come on, bully these guys into playing DraftKings with us. Yes. Isn't this thing bullying for good? Is that not yes. what you're doing for? Bully these guys into playing DraftKings. Yes. So that all their friends see our podcast, and then all our friends see their podcast. Yes. Everybody's intermingling and growing. I know you got two friends on the Bears Ball podcast, Raul Bennington and G, the heartthrob Stilio. I know that they know yes. how to use a, a phone. I know that they know how to use technology. Get those boys on there and play some draft games. It's Joe. very simple and very easy. This is what we're going to do. Okay. This is what we're going to do, okay? Right, right. Listen, hear me out here. Hear me out here. All right, Lucas. We're going to set up our Super Bowl draft kings tonight. We're going to send that out. We're going to get it out there. We're going to get two weeks. We have two weeks to fill that thing up. Okay, Dose. we have Dose two weeks. We can already, we're gonna set it up tonight. We're gonna get it out there. We're gonna get fifty because we have two freaking weeks. Come that on, so if much, we don't fourteen get 50, days. Y'all don't deserve the T-shirt. Yeah, you know what? Deserve. I don't. I don't care. Deserve. We can just play Pro Bowl between us. Three. Let's get that fifty in that Super Bowl. Let's get hey, it up and running. If you Let's also that. feel free to join the Pro Bowl, like it's fun, man. Yeah. Like, but I'm just like, saying, Super Bowl, we're doing that. Yes. We're getting, Tell a friend if you want that T-shirt. Tell a friend. Every friend ha- matters and every friend counts. Every- do you think? Do you think NFL players like drafting? Don't we have two in the Brawl Network? Yes, I think that, that I think, do you think they're right? Like DraftKings. Hey, Mark and Will, Willowbridge and Witherspoon, please join our DraftKings this week. We really appreciate it. We know you guys ha- are busy with your commitments to all this stuff. You guys are verified on Twitter. So, you know, you have that to carry on your back. But just join. Have some fun with some DraftKings this week. Have some fun. Try and beat us and make sure you join for the Super Bowl because I'm sure you'd like to be walking around with a fantasy football brawl t-shirt repping our podcast with your Twitter fair by itself. That's right. Mark Witherspoon and Will Lillibridge. Wait, our draft kings. wait, hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm going to separate myself from that. I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, their real names. Um, That's right. Mark, Mark Witherspoon no, and Will no, Lillibridge. Stop. You're going our draft kings. Out. No, Mark Lillibridge <laughs> And Will Witherspoon. And please. Will Lillibridge. No, please, please, Joe. I hope I hope you I hope you save us. <laughs> Trust me. All right, I'm gonna get my lineup. I'm gonna get my lineup. Joe's Joe's up top looking like Eminem celebrating his new album. That's right. <laughs> it's, 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 it's better this way, Joe. Trust me. Oh, okay. All right. My captain this week is going to be Deshaun Watson. 
My flexes are Michael Thomas, Devonta Adams, Derrick Henry, Keenan Allen, and Zach Ertz. Well done, well done. Lucas, what about yourself? Who are you playing with Showdown? Pro Bowl. Oh, showdown. I forgot I didn't win. I got to get next. Uh, First time in a while. Let me, uh, oh, I just want to Upcoming. All right. Well, just want to oh, say that, guys, we have nine people. We really appreciate you guys and the NFL Brawl. Those are pretty cool. Oh, um, my former podcast. You know. Ain't no, ain't no need just, to... just, just come. Just come. You ain't know, no need to suck come. up. No I'm not to... sucking up. I'm just saying we appreciate them for taking time out of their Twitter verified days. You know? That, that's all I'm saying. Are you, you know? done? You got a little dirt on your nose, Joe. You wash your mouth. That was sick. What? 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 Come on, son. <laughs> All right. Go my ahead. captain, he cost one and a half times the amount. I'm going with Lamar Jackson. Oh, my first flex, I'm going with his best friend, Mark Andrews. Nope. My other flex, I'm going with Austin Hooper. Can't, can't relate. My other three players, I'm going with Alvin Kamara, Deshaun Watson, and Russell Wilson. Not smart. Uh, I'll beat you. I'm I, just saying, right now. Dude, John Harbaugh is the coach. You better believe that his rate. Listen, you better believe that one, his Ravens are going to go hard. Two, Lamar Jackson reminds me of that guy that no one will be trying, and he'll be running all over the field trying to freaking score a million. He's going to blow the knee out. Hey. No, whoa, Yo, whoa. Yeah, cut that out. Cut that out. Or... Uh, only health. We only wish healthy things. Okay. Um, um, damn, I don't know what's up with me tonight. I'm unless, unless, they're wearing, unless they're wearing green and yellow, we wish health for everyone. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. All right, so, yeah, I'll pick Lamar Jackson as my captain also. And uh, I got a little DJ Chark, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, and Michael Thomas to round out my lineup here. I don't know how that's going to play out because, you know, the Pro Bowl, half of these guys are going to play three snaps and then be done. So And the well, other half will be playing drunk. Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, so we'll just see how that goes for everybody. It's just a chance to get all of our DraftKings players familiar with the showdown mode. Before yes. Before you play with us in the Super Bowl showdown, we want 50 players or more. We really want 100, but 50 is a great start. Hey, uh, I was thinking, you know, Joe, you, you're you the Pro Bowl. Where's the Pro Bowl this year? Is it in Hawaii? No. Miami. No, no. Oh, is yeah. It, no, it's, is it in Orlando? 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 Hey, Joe, you, are you going to drive to Orlando to, you know, use your get some StubHub tickets? That would be an uh, awesome time. Uh, I think it's like a 12-hour drive to Miami. To uh, is it Miami or Orlando? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll why not? Out. Why not get some StubHub tickets and go to the Pro Bowl? And Lucas, why not get some StubHub tickets and go to a Sixers In game? Orlando. And uh, me, why not get some StubHub tickets and go to a Bulls game, even though I get student discounts? Get some StubHub tickets, everybody. You guys need to check out our sponsor for the Brawl Network, StubHub. They do so much great work with their tickets. They're Website and the app are super easy to use. You can check them out at www.thebearsbrawl.com slash StubHub. Make sure to use our code, or not our code, our, our just link, so you can get the best offers available and so that you can support us while supporting them and make sure to continue on the Brawl legacy by using their link for our, our links for Fanatics and StubHub. That was a great episode. That was a lot That's of fun. It? That's it. Didn't Are you we want, done? Didn't you want to do a short one? Well, I thought we had. I thought. I mean, I'm down. I mean, like. What else you got? What else you got? To give it I to mean, the people. Give it I to the fans. Say, I was gonna say we could pick two. Nah, that that's not even worth it. It's the Pro Bowl. All right, guys. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at seventy two. Uh, 72 two bay bro. 72 follow, cheap, bro. Yeah. You can follow Lucas on Twitter at Lberry underscore 40. You can follow the main man, the host himself, the editor himself, the do everything guy himself, Joe Gaither at Joe Gaither 6. And uh, can we say congrats yet, or do we got to wait a little bit? Everything's moving so damn slow. I'm very frustrated, but so, I'm going to say congratulations to my friend Joe Gaither. Yeah. He's about six months pregnant right now. <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, oh, he really oh, had to stand up for that. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. He was just eating too many Oreos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's no, right. uh, thank you. Thank you for doing everything, Joe. We really appreciate all the time and effort you put into the uh, show. It's just all part of it. Trying to grow. Trying to grow a little bit every day. And uh, make sure to cut out some of my weirdness today because it's been Joe on Censored Hour. Um, and Lucas. The um, video usually goes up pretty raw, though. 
Oh, that's not good. My yeah. favorite. Um, Lucas, I'm going to beat you this week in DraftKings um, just to prove that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm here. You're, you're the Pro Bowl king. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to beat you next week, and then I'm going to be the Super Bowl king. Uh, that, that's a real challenge. I, that's I it. Like, okay, I have a question. I don't know DraftKings very well, but for the players who play DraftKings, can you enter a free contest that gives you money? Yes. No. Uh, only if they sponsor it. DraftKings will have, like, sponsored free events, but they have, like, millions of people. Yeah, so you gotta be, like, the perfect lineup. <laughs> well, okay. But you also, they, they also have great contests, like, okay, uh... They have, like, they you have can done, play for cents. You can yeah. play for 10 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents, like, and, and, and those are, you know... You get what you pay for. The return is still not as dope as like the, the major contest, but it's still Please like us, you can you can win like thirty bucks, twenty bucks based off off penny, you know. Anyway, guys, I don't know. What to, I don't know what to say. That that was an unbelievable season. We still got the Super Bowl coming up, but after that, I are we taking a little bit of a break for yeah, a this weeks? week? Super Bowl week, uh, preview Super Bowl. We'll and recap, recap the Super Bowl and then we're on break. Out of break. Well, I mean, I had a great time this year. I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's been fun talking fantasy with you guys each and every week. So, yeah, that's right. Right. We're looking right. forward to it. Y'all have a good promo. It's at 3 o'clock Eastern on ABC. Perfect napping programming, to be perfectly honest. Yes. I'll be watching. Peace. <laughs>